So we're here in South Richmond Hill, or this is more like South Ozone Park. Uh, look at these beautiful homes. They, well, they knocked down some little homes and put up some really pretty homes. So we're just gonna drive through this neighborhood a little. And see. It's a really nice neighborhood. Um, but the home prices are really high now. Nice Christmas decorations are pretty. Some people covering their trees there. Some pants or something. So probably have some tropical plants or something they're trying to keep alive. And then we go get food. It doesn't matter. I could just pause it. But this is my favorite neighborhood. I love this neighborhood so much. I lived here, I moved here in 2007 from the Bronx and I just loved how nice the people were. Um, and the way, it just felt um, like such a nice community. Nobody bothers anyone. And uh, a lot of people have lived here for decades. So it gave like, kind of like a, um, a feel like you were in the 80s or something. It's changing a little now, but it's still a nice neighborhood. So these are, um, oh no, these are not connected. I thought these were connected homes. So this is more like, there, here's a new one. This is more like South Ozone Park, right, Mark? Um, right? Yeah. They're renovating a house here. These are like, I don't know if those are called Tudor style homes. But what I'm saying is they, although they knocked down some of these little homes, they're building some really beautiful real estate. It's not, um, it's nothing ugly or, box or plain looking um there's some beautiful architecture architecture and classy looking homes Another home that was a small home that was um, knocked down and built. Look how pretty. There's still a lot of Italian people living in the neighborhood, and um, there are a lot of Indian people, Asian people. It's a pretty one, too. So these are like the homes that are being knocked down and rebuilt. That I've noticed. Another nice one. But they're when they're up for sale, they're in, listed in the million, so like 1.5 million or whatever. So down here is the aqueduct racetrack. some roosters living in there. So, and then there's a train station down there, the A train. So is this the way where the flea market used to be? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And when you come down, the, oh, this is a nice outdoor room these, this house has. Look at that. 
with the lemon tree or something yeah yeah this is my favorite neighborhood we used to come to the flea market here at the aqueduct racetrack and it, it had been going on for decades um i heard since like the 70s but then in i think it was like 2011 they um stopped it and they built a casino what's the name of that casino I can't remember because we've, we've been living out of state for a while, but there's a new casino there. And we went in it a couple of times. It's a fun place, but I really miss the, the flea market. And I remember the commercials they used to have for it and everything. They still have one in Valley Stream. It's, it's not as fun as this one, but... This one's for sale. It's a connected house. I wish we could buy a home here. There's a Q37. Oh, this is a dead end. Oh, yeah, you can't go through there, right? So um, they have some really nice festivals in this neighborhood on Liberty Avenue and in Smoky Park. They have uh, the Pagua Parade and then they have the um, Diwali Festival and other f nice festivals that people from all over the city come to see. So I remember when I first moved to this neighborhood in 2007, there were some homes that were like, you know, in the 400,000s, and that was before the crash. And then, um, even before that, they were much cheaper, but now they're, you can't really find anything for less than 600,000 or 700,000. So here's Rockaway Boulevard. So they covered the sign of that hotel there. Uh, they're probably using it for the migrants. Mm. There used to be a bar here. I don't remember if it was here. It was called Track something. It had to do with the racetrack. So here's the parking lot where they used to have the flea market. Well, over there, past the Home Depot. And that's the new casino there. Oh, Resorts World, it's called. So no more flea market. So there's some migrants there. And we saw a few that just uh, on the highway earlier with signs. So this all used to be for the flea market. So sad. I could still like feel it, right? It was so fun, but it's gone now. Oh, here's a flea market outlet store. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> that's new. There's Resorts World Casino, the entrance there. 
and this Dunkin' Donuts is, I don't know, like 10 years old now, it's newer. I don't know why I just talked about that. Johnny's Bar, that's been there a while. Gotham furniture here, I guess it's closed down. But that's John Adams High School there. Oh, they have music lessons, that's still there. Oh, but there's the A train. Little row house. Oh, there's still a bowling. Look, a white castle. Remember the white castle? So there's a bowling alley still there and the white castle. Where's it? Oh, it looks good. Should we eat that? <laughs> So this Walgreens used to be a Genovese, then an Eckerd, I think, then a Rite Aid, and now a Walgreens. This is still here, Villa Marcello. And this, uh... Wait, why don't you go into Ozone Park a little? Wait, that's cemetery? I do you know how to get there. This used to be a, oh yeah, this used to be a movie theater It was also, after the movie theater, it was a Models for a long, long time, and then now it's this. There's the PC Richards still there. Up this way is Howard Beach, which we'll be going to later. And that's the Dunkin' Donuts. So what do you do? You go straight? To go? Oh, you gotta go that way? So these little bikes have been a problem here. What are they called? Mopeds or something? Yeah. They run the light and stuff, but um, this guy waited for the light. This used to be a Mandy's and now it's just every other thing. It's always open. There's always a new store opening there. Or that was the, no, that was a dress barn. Now it's a drag store. <laughs> what does it say? Just be careful with this guy. It's a beautiful church here.
majestic marquee. I don't know what that is. I don't know how long it's been there. Long River Chinese food. My hands are cramping. And then down straight is Brooklyn, right? East New York? That's a, wow, Cherry Valley Marketplace? No, it, i never seen this here. Was it always here? Because no, this used to be... Different name or something. Oh, because this is like big in Whitestone. Or maybe I'm, um, it was an Italian, maybe they just named it that. These are gypsies. Rockaway Boulevard. The Golden Mango. So this looks, this is um, Atlantic Avenue coming up. Rockaway Boulevard. straight down here you end up in um, Brooklyn I'm probably already in Brooklyn. We're taking a little detour through East New York.
So there's Liberty Avenue. This is Liberty Avenue, so there's a lot of shopping here, right? Well, it doesn't look so good anymore. But this is like down Liberty, uh, East New York area. What the hell? Why is he dressed like that? these called? Are these brownstones? I don't know, they look, they look so good. Not brownstones. <laughs> See them. It told you to come this way? Mm. Oh. Those little dogs. It's a long Pitkin. So Pitkin has a lot of shopping down that way. So I'm going to end this video here. It's a little long, but I'm going to start a new one in Ozone Park. Okay, bye. Remember to like and subscribe. <laughs>